for one this season. Got that foul, by the way, on Quigley, who's picked up three of them. Five off the bench the other day. That's a luxury for Bill and Beer to have a player like De'Erica Hamby. Most players that put that kind of production. To, no matter what side of the ball you know, you're know you on, you could still throw it over half court. But once you come to those pros, it's one of the big half court. But once you come. That telling story. Well, it's, and the defense inside, the aces are just making it so difficult that time. Make a run at it in the third quarter and have responded with a big counter punch as Cox leans inside, doing a lot of the heavy lifting. She had an 8 0 run all by herself. McCowan has checked down as Lavender sets up Cox with a shot clock. That's, that's what we want to see, especially at the, the early uh, beginning of the game. Parker looking for space inside, cut off by Cox. Good defense. On defense, and Lauren Cox is really showing her part today. We'll finish at the rim, just kind of power through uh, as, as you see the development of Cox. Parker driving on Cox, put to celebrate Pride Month here in the month of June. Deanna looking for win number two. Parker step back. A great offensive rebound, a great attack, a great offensive rebound to lead to the open shot. Evan, step back on Cox. Evan. All five players on the floor. Oops. Indiana did everything right, and McCowan missed the open lay-in, and Charles leads the rebound for Washington. They have not had her all season either, a late arrival from Frances McCall. Recognition by Lauren Cox, she knew that shot clock was winding down. She had to let him fly as soon as she caught it. Russell working on Cox inside. Defensively, from the, the aces, and then the rebounding. Uh oh